Uh, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> it's time that we start our session. I hope you can all see my whiteboard. Uh, great. <clears throat> Please uh, let me know if you can see the board, and if not, uh, let me also know. All right. Today we'll discuss uh, the concept of differentiation. I don't see any board. Sorry. You can't see. I don't know. Board. No, am I the only one? <laughs> let me check. Uh, let me share again, please. I'm, I'm going to leave and try and come back. Can you see now? No, you don't need to. You can't see anything yet again. No, but everybody else seems to be seeing. Uh, I'm not sure because they're uh, they're just uh, quiet. Oh, okay. We can see <laughs> it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me stop first now and sh reshare again. Um, I think I'm going to leave and come back. Um, why? It shouldn't be like, like that. I can see the board. Okay. Um, so if it, you can't see it again. Okay. Hey, Vet, can you now see the word, please? Can you please uh, uh, mute? Um, professor, me, uh, I'm okay. Oh, good. Okay, um, good. I can see it. Okay. Uh, Carl, can, can you please, uh, mute, please your mic? Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Excellent. Um, now, the first rule that we'll discuss today is uh, the power. The so called power rule. I think we saw that again last time. Please, I am on page 60. Power rule of differentiation. The most uh, very easy here. I remind you that again, the problem that we have here is that uh, if we have a function f of x, or equals a function. I'm uh, sorry, Prof, you said yes. you're on page. 60, 60, please. 60, okay. Yes. Assume I have a function of one uh, variable f of x. And we are asked to find the derivative. This is given. Right. Now we are asked to find the derivative of the function f y prime or this is again f prime of x. Oh, sorry, battery is low. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys, I'm changing my battery is low. Let me please charge. I don't have a little bit of shaking, sorry. Uh, one second, please, I'm telling you my battery is low. Okay, Right, so here we ask it to find the function, the derivative f prime of x. And this function is truly important for many applications in economics. This is uh, to, be find, to be found, right? Great. We are given a function and we are asking to find the derivative of the function f, right? Now the power rule is the following rule. We have the if, if the function y equals x power power n, okay, remind me again the power, the power rule of differentiation. How do you find here the derivative of 
of the function while prime. Please, if you want to answer, please, you unmute and you answer, please. Feel free to do, to do so. This will be, we take the number n down and multiply by x power n minus one, right? Are you there, please? Are you already are you awake? <clears throat> I can't hear anyone. Yes, we are here, sir. Oh, great. Thank you. Yes, we are here. Oh, great. Thank you. Great. I see if it wants to, you are, you're raising the hand. If you have any, please, any question, please ask the question. You don't wait for me to see your hand. Great. Now, basic, a simple example is that if we have, for, if you, if we have, for instance, a function, say uh, y equals x power uh, any number, say for instance, power two. What is the derivative of this uh, function? What is the, the derivative, please? Yvette, at least I know your name. What is this, please? Y prime, apply the rule, simply to x. You can say it's to the power of two, so then yes. it'll just be x. Yes, it'll be 2x. Yes, 2x. Two, com two comes down, right? And we decrease uh, one unit from two, right? Great. Yes. Uh, another example will be, uh, it's, it's my case. Uh, if I take, oh my goodness, what's going on with my head today? Uh, I promise you that I will use a new computer. So far, it's still have to be. Uh, to be ready. I was so confident that you never know when. Yeah. Sorry with the change. Okay, great. let me take another function. Say uh, y equals x power. Oh, this board has been. Say x. If I take x power power four, of course here we we have what is the derivative, please? Very very easy. Y prime equals four x power three, right? Uh, sorry, sir. Sorry, yes, sir. Please. Yeah, 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 yes, please go for it. No problem. Um, your your whiteboard's not updating on my end. I'm not sure if you're not if you're writing anything. Um, same. Same. Okay. Same. Yeah. Why, why is that same? There we go. There we go. Now I can see. Not yet. Okay. Let me stop sharing. No, 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 no. I can see from my side. Okay. Let me try to stop sharing and share again, please. Let me try again. I uh, don't know why that is happening. Please can I ask what page are we on? I'm on page uh, 60, 60, 61. Thank you. Yes. Good. Now, uh, can you see now please the board? Can you see what I'm writing? Yes. Let me take the, the function. Uh, if we have also the, like the function, say a constant, it's shaking the board, I don't know why. If you take, for instance, uh, three X power, say power five, if we take here, if we want to find here the derivative of this uh, uh, function y, y prime, okay. Uh, this has been great. All right, how do you find that derivative please? Five, three, x power five, this here three is a constant, right? You, don't, you simply take five comes down, right? And you multiply it by three, which becomes 15, right? And you keep x power five minus one, which is four, right? Well, that is it. In general, if we have a constant, say we have the fun a function, if you have like a constant k, or C or any other number that you want, 
multiply by x power power n. Here the derivative will be, you can give the answer please, and you can answer the question. It will be uh, k in x yes. in minus one. Very good, k n, k times n, you take here x n minus one, great. Good, right. Two main examples that we can give other examples there. If we take, for instance, the function, see how this how general uh, this rule is. If I take, for instance, square root of two, first let me take one over x. I'll type in that here. One over x. One over x. What is the how do you, how can you find the uh, here y prime? You can write this again as one, one over x is the same thing as x minus one, x power minus one, right? Remember that, please. This is the same thing. Are you with me? And therefore, y prime will be, if I can write something like this, x minus one prime now apply here now here please apply now the rule what will you get here please apply the rule to that function the power rule this negative one comes down it comes ma minus one right multiply by x no one is talking please can uh, can you unmute in uh, minus one and we take again minus one, right? So this will be the same thing as negative one x power minus two. Minus two, yes. And this is basically, if you write it, you can write it the, this way. <clears throat> one over is simply negative one divided by x power power two, right? x power 2, something like this. Right, this is y prime. Ask you to compute. Sorry, sorry, yes, sir. Yes, please. I'm a little bit lost here. Yes. Y is equal to k n, k x to the power n. Yes. Is equals to the, the, k yes. n x n minus 1. Can you elaborate on that, please? Sure. Sure, the formula is the following. Uh, we have, for instance, if I have uh, six x power, say for instance, x power uh, seven, if I want to find this derivative of this uh, function, derivative, right? It will simply be, so this six is a constant. And like we simply take, uh, we keep uh, six aside and we simply take the, the times the derivative of x7. Oh, this is bored, sorry to. Uh, times x power x power seven. And now we take this derivative here, right? Now this is equal to, because six is equal to uh, six. What is the derivative of x power seven? Come on, x seven comes down, right? Seven x power. Please talk, please. I want to hear a voice of someone there. X power six, power six right? Seven minus one. Right. right, yes. Then we have here exactly uh, six times seven is forty-two. x power uh, x power six right something like that so for a constant you, you we simply keep it and we simply take the, 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 the derivative of the function let me take another example and take as many as we want here if we give for instance square root of, of of x what is this derivative of the i mean what, what is uh, how can you find y prime here 
Anybody please to try this? Y prime equals power to x power to x square of x. You can write this as simply x. Which power of x is that? Uh, half, is this, power of half. Power half, yes, power half, yes. Good. And then you write, now you take the here. So we now we find this derivative, right? Now, okay, now can you apply here the power rule? What do you, what do you now obtain? Equals, we take this number half down, right? One over two. X power. X power half again. Minus one. Minus, always minus one, right? Always, right? So we, we obtain, this will simply be one over two multiplied by x power, which is half minus one? Minus half. Minus half, yes. Okay. What can you continue simplifying this? This is simple, the same thing as one over two square root of x. If this x minus half goes down, it becomes x power half, right? Let me go slowly to don't lose anyone. And then here we, we, we obtain exactly one over two. This x power half is, a, we can come back again to its value. This is something is square root of x, right? In, in other words, one of, sorry, square root of x, square root of x derivative, if we want to derivate this uh, function, this will, will, will give you something as one over two square root of x, right? Right, the power rule quite, I think we've covered nearly everything on the power rule, that is very easy. Look, look at the sum um, on page 61. If I have two functions, f and, and g, if I have two functions, f and g, and I want to compute the derivative of the sum, I have the sum and I want to compute the derivative of the sum, this will simply be very easy. You, see, you simply take the derivative of f, right, plus the derivative of of g. Uh, for instance, assume we have 2x power 3 plus 6x uh, how can you find this derivative please sorry with them what is this the derivative anyone please to answer the question Yvette, six, I, six oh, x. so with first um, so it's six six x to the power of two plus mm -hmm. six so we first the derivative we first take the derivative of the first part plus the okay this will be six x power two right great yes plus uh, this part six x we, we take six. of course we enter that x will be simply one right it will be plus six but I think everybody understands that x if we take x but you may not uh no uh if I take the function x and I take its derivative, of course, this will give simply one, right? You can take x power one, right? Just to, con to convince you that we have exactly, sorry, we can do it here, that makes sense. So this one comes down, right? This one comes down, right? We have one, times x power one minus one and any number power zero will be exactly one if x is not zero right something like that very clear let me take another example what is the derivative of the constant maybe we uh, sorry can, can you go back yes, a little bit yes please what is the question no can problem? you go back a little bit sir okay, yes please sure 
I'm there. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you say F plus G. Yes. It equals to F derivative plus yes. G. Yes. So somewhere, somehow, I'm lost. Oh, so okay, good. So you see, this is the derivative of a sum, right? A sum of two functions, F plus G. The, the derivative of F plus G, right? Is this is equal to the derivative of f plus the derivative of of g, right? I what here. Well, what the rule says. Uh, basically, is, can you see a, a g prime, right? Is f prime plus g prime, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now let me take another example. Let me take, for instance, uh, the function. Let me, let me take for instance that, uh, that, that one you that one you leave it yes it is yes which one please D this one is it finished when is like this if it, if it, this one the first this one here right yes is it yes. finished yes this is simply a general rule is it's simply a formula right mm -hmm. yeah in general right so I, now I have to now I have to compute now if I if I have f now I have to compute its derivative. But if they oh. give me f yes and they give me g now I have to compute f prime and g prime. Let me take an oh. example. Yes, please. I think maybe the, the gentleman was asking or when is it is it finished? Is the final answer two x squared plus six? If I'm understanding correctly. Yes, yes, sure. This, this is the final answer. Yes. Is it what you? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I couldn't see who was asking. I think his question was that uh, should we stop? Should we stop? I think if I understand what he's saying. Uh, sorry for putting uh, words in your mouth. If if I take for for instance, x uh, power three right minus uh, six x power say for instance say power four derivative of course this this is the same thing as x power three right derivative minus uh, six x four also take the derivative of this uh, function should we stop here of course no <laughs> right Are you still there, please? The one who asked the question. So we should continue oh, yeah. until we find the the, the, the the final answer. Here now we have what is what uh, what is this uh, the derivative? Three x power two, right? Yes. Minus this is twenty four, right? X power um, power three. Here, there's no more the derivative. This is the derivative of the function, right? We are we are done, right? Is that okay? What is the of but, a constant? Hello, yes, please. Hello yes, there. Please. Yes, please. On this one, yes. I understand it. Yes, but good. now there mm -hmm. by n. We have n minus one on that example. Yes. That one is y is equals to kx yes. to the power n. Then it's minus one. Exactly. That's how we compute the derivative. We take uh, the power would increase by one unit. Always. Oh, uh, meaning that here. meaning that even here, we yes. say for example six x to the yes. power four minus one. Yes. Okay. You see there. You see, you see okay. here what you did here. Look, look, yes, okay. you see what you did here. Here we took this four, four times six, right? And x four becomes now x power three. You see, we took here one, when it is four minus one. Okay. Yes. Are you with me? Yes, I'm with you for on this one. Yes, <laughs> only on this one. Eh? Okay. Okay, no, no problem. Excellent. So here, sorry, this board is man. I wish I could write with my. Uh, okay. Sorry, with the, with the way I want. Okay, let me take another example. Now let's talk. Let, uh, let's take before, any constant function. Before, sorry, sir. Yes, please. 
Before you take another example, because hey, this thing has given me a lot for many years. Mm -hmm. If f plus yes. g, which is in the which is in the bracket, yes, is equals to f derivative. If I'm correct, plus g yes. derivative. Yes. How do they relate this? This f plus g and that one f derivative and g derivative. Okay. It means yes. you have taken this one, which is on the left hand side. Yes. and wrote them in the right hand side and take yes. them out of the bracket yes sure okay um the the, the, the problem is the following given given two functions right two functions sorry for giving you a long answer right here we have two functions f and f and and g right right so f plus g is also another function. The sum of two functions is also another. Uh, this is also another function, right? Is also a function. Please, can you see what I'm writing, please, on the board? Right. Now, what is? How do we find what is the derivative? What is the derivative of? Or how do we compute the, the derivative? function of of the sum of this new new function f plus f plus can you see that please what i'm typing how do we find this derivative right very simple answer very very simple simply take what to do simply take f prime and, what, and f prime is the derivative of f, and you also take the, the derivative of g, right? And you take their sum. That, that's all that you do. You, you, you do. So to compute, maybe it's very simple. That, that's why it's confusing, uh, right? Maybe you're expecting a difficult uh, formula. Don't worry, it will come. But for, for now, you have two functions, f and g, and you are asking to compute the, the derivative of their sum. What do you do? You simply compute f prime, f prime and also g prime, and you add the two. That's all. Very simple, indeed. Right. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I'm writing in the following form: f plus g derivative, right, equals f prime plus g prime. That is the meaning. The meaning is that the derivative of the sum of two functions is equal to the sum of the derivatives of the two functions. Right? Is that clear now, please? On Thanks. my side, I think so. Yes, good. Okay. It will it will come. I think you will understand it correctly. Let's take now another example. A constant. A function which is a constant. What is the derivative of a constant? If, if a function is constant, say for instance, f of x equals a constant mm -hmm. like like five, right? What is the debit, what is the, the derivative of this uh, function? How does this function vary when x varies? Zero. Zero. Yes. Right. A constant function is such that its derivative is always zero. Right. Can you understand why? Right. If we if we if we even apply the the, the definition, but there's no, no time to do so. But let, let me right. take. If we take f of, uh, what, what is f of one here? What is f of one? What is f of one? Come on. For every x, this is the, the function. Every number x is such that the, this is a function that, that is constant. What, 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 what is f of one? In x to the power n minus one. No, it's five. No. Right? It's five. <clears throat> what is f of zero? Zero. 
No. Zero. No, it's five. Right? Look here, please. Look at this. Every, for every x, f of x is equal to five. This is, this is a constant function. All the values of x have the same image, five. Right? So whether it's any number, any number is such that f of that number is equal to five. Now they ask you, what is f of one? Of course it's five. F of zero is also five, right? So it's a constant. If they say that you have a constant, uh, a constant uh, 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 function, right? Everywhere the same function, right? Can you can you the, uh, the mute, please? Can you the mute, please? The, the, oh, okay. Mute, please. Uh, I think it's William. William, please the mute, please the mask. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, uh, the mic. William, please. Can you mute, please, your mic? Maybe he is out of it. Hope he will do it so after. Now, so if I have now take the derivative, so the change uh, in terms of uh, x. Yeah, here, here we take, if we remember again the definition. Oh. William, please, your mind is on. Equals five. For every x, for all, all x, for all value of x. Now, if we take f of, of x plus h, what will that be? Sorry, sir. Yes, please. What is it? V with the line through it or upside down? What is it? Okay, okay, okay. This is for all. Sorry, man. I will say for all. Oh, oh okay. okay. So it no means see, uh, see simply. Looks like upside all. down. Please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for okay, all. Sure. Thank you. Okay. For all X. Great. Sorry for uh, for for that. Now, I want to convince you that indeed the derivative of a function that, that is constant is equal to zero. Let me take this. If you remember how we defined the, the how we defined the derivative of a function divided by x, you can find uh, this. What is f of x plus h? The function is constant, uh, right? So any number, whether it's big or, it's big or small, it has its image is equal to five. So this, this will be five minus, uh, minus five divided by x, right? And this is equal to zero. Zero over x is zero, right? So even when I take the limit, h going, h going to zero, this will simply be equal to zero. Zero. Therefore, the derivative of the function f is equal to zero. I repeat, I, I know you know this. Any constant function is such that its derivative is zero. Of course, there's no, no change, right? Any function that, that is a constant that does not change. So the rate of change is simply zero. Excellent. Now let me take an exam another example before we take the uh, we consider the other rule. Find this. Let me take the function f of x equals. I hope you're all following, please. F of x equals four. I think it's activity activity uh, one on page sixty-two. Four plus x. Plus uh, two two squared of of x. I don't mind speaking about my relationship. Yeah. I'm very happy. Oh. Keep with us. Yeah? Jeez, are, are you following my class, or you are in another me the meeting? You guys uh, somewhere. Every, every time the mic, your mic is is on, I always hear whether you are talking or you are doing something else. Are you following two things at the same time? Okay, great. What is here now? Please, the derivative. Uh, 
you are so quiet in this class. I don't know why. Why, why are you so Do you quiet? Want it? Do, you <laughs> you want it? Do I want to? <laughs> so, yeah, we are listening, sir. Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, sometimes my students say that I deserve much less myself. Uh, sometimes as well, but I don't believe so. But, oh, great. Okay. Please, who Sorry, Prof. You, you said this example was on page 62. Oh, I changed it. Yeah, 62, but I changed it. 62. Oh, but okay. it's similar to what is there. Okay, please, what is the difference of this uh, function? Let, let me uh, pick the names. Now I, I can find the names here. On the... It will be... Yes, yes, Justice. It will be two. Mm -hmm. It will be three times two is six. Yes. Six x squared. What do you, what do you leave for? I'm I'm starting from right to left. Okay, why? <laughs> okay, I know it's true, but it's fine. But but why? What do you, okay four? What do you get? What, what do we do with with four? Four is a that constant, is, right? Constant is going to be zero. Right plus, and this x what is the, the its derivative? It's going to be one. one. Yes plus. Now, and this one, the way three, it will be a six, as you said, Mr. G Justice, x power, power two, right. So this is a, simply one plus six x squared, right? See the function we have here. Right? Very easy. Now, uh, if I take. Professor? Yes, please. That you is that uh, activity two on page sixty two. That did and you change the did you change the equation? Yeah. Because I Which see uh, it's supposed to be y is equal to four plus x plus two square root x. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. I changed the, the question. But, oh, yeah. okay. No, I'm just okay. checking. But it's fine because we we know we can take that as well. Y okay. equals four plus x, right? Plus x. Plus, uh, plus two square root of x, right? Uh, plus two square root of x. Right, right? Same thing, we also the derivative we have simply uh, for a constant, this will be zero, this will be one, this will be two. What is the, again the derivative of square root of x? What is this, this again? We saw that. Who can re remember the, the, the derivative of square of x? It will be half. Half. It's what? half. Yes, square of half, x. Half yes, something like this, right? If you remember, right? So we have here two, 2 over 2. The answer will simply be 1 plus 1 over square of x. Yes. You can't fail any question on this uh, first uh, principle. It's very elementary. Right. If I ask you, what is the derivative of this uh, function? If you take what equals uh, maybe a, a, the cubic root of x power 2 or x power 4. OK, find please, the derivative of this. How do you find this? Find the answer. Anybody can try. Simply write this as x power. X power what, please? Four over it will three. Be, it will be three. Four over three, please. Like this, please. Yes, please. Uh -huh. it so first, you transform this in terms of a, a power, right? Yes. Now you have. Hmm? Now, now continue. You say we transform it in terms of power. Yes. You see what I did here? Can you see my board? Yes. The, the, the cubic root of x power 4 is the same thing as you simply take x 4 divided by 3. This is how you, you do it. Right. Now you have the power here. Now, now this is like the, the exponent. Right. It's clear. Now you take it down and you have 
Professor? Yes, please. Um, sorry, what would happen if we, um, when we're doing the steps, where we, instead of going straight to X to the power of four over three, yes. I just want to see how we get there. Can okay. can we do the f um, the first step B, um, where we derive the X to the power of four first? No, please. Is that possible? No, please. No, please. That won't be a true. Unfortunately, okay. so yes, please. So first, uh, remember this. Only remember that if we have the this uh, root x, put here like a number n if you like, right? And put here like x power n number, maybe m, right? By definition, this quantity is the same as x to the power of of what, please? Who okay, can continue? You take m, 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 by m. m divides by n, yes, like this. Now you have a power, now you can apply the power rule. Right. I remember the same thing like if we have square root of, for, for instance, if here I have n number there, if I have here x power, let me take here like a nine. What is this? Uh, 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 you should remember that if, if there's no number here, right, it's like you, they put two. If nothing is there, this is, of course, you know this is the square root, right? Square root. It's got to be here. Is it going to be x yes. to the yes. power of 9 over mm -hmm. 2? Yes, nine, huh? always. Yes, 9 over 2, right? Always. Okay. I get it. Thank you. Yes. So you'll never see two there in gen in general, right? They only put uh, nothing. They only put a number when it's bigger than than two. But this is nine over two, right? Even if nothing is here, even if here there's no number, assuming that there is two it's hidden there, right? Now I can take the derivative. It's clear. Okay. If we if we come back here now, what do we have then? If we come back to this, what do we have now? How do we now find this derivative? Anybody, please? Of course, this is a power. This, this exponent will come down, right? 4 over 3, right? Multiply by x to the power 1 over 3. Yes, thank you. 4 over 3 minus 1. Thank you. Like I'm like I come like scrolling slowly like okay. Four so we have four over over three divided multiplied by x power one over three. Yes. You can leave it there, no problem. One over three. Great. Derivative is a new function which is derivative. Okay, let me now take the other rule. The exponential distribution. Maybe we can look at the, uh, the yeah the exponential. Ex exponential. To uh, sorry, sir. Yes, please. Can you go back to that slide? No problem. Just yeah. no, just you is y oh. is equal to four x plus no this one of y is equal to three. Square root of x to the power four. Yes, good. Uh, yes. Then hmm? there is a step one, two, three. Yes. X power four over three. We take this x four divided by three because that is the meaning of this uh, uh, notation. It's x power. Then, then, then what is the next uh, uh, the next answer there? Yeah, is here. Now we take the, now we are now we, we we compute the derivative. Now we take this this number. Uh, remember the the power rule, x power something, like say a, x power a, right? How do you compute this yes, derivative? Yes, Answer my question, please. X power a is equal. What is the, the, the derivative of x power a? Please please talk. A x. Yes, a. a minus one. Yes, you see. A minus one. Simple like that. And what is the final answer? Good. 
Let me come. Let me first clean it here. The final answer is now. So basically, I was just here explaining something. Uh, basically, all this was, was simply to, to explain. Now, here, four over three minus one, right? And four over three minus one is one over three, right? Because we, we can put on the same here, same the denominator is four minus three over three. And this is the final answer is, is here. Sorry. Right? If you want, one can write this again is. One can again put here. This is simply sure. is four. Yes. Sorry, sir. Yes, please. I'm with you. Well, you got that final answer. Y yes. is equal to four over three. It's one over three to the yes. power one over three. Yes. Just above that, you've got four uh, to the power four over three minus one. Is it four minus one? Isn't that supposed to be three? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Oh, you're taking that power and minusing it by one. Oh, so, oh, sorry. Yes, I see. It's four over three. Is this fraction here? Yeah, four over minus three. one. Yes, all of this minus one. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. So we, we put on the same here. We put on the same denominator, which is three. You remember? Three. Three divided by, by three is one. Well, one times four is four. Minus. Here, like here, we have one over one is like a one over one, like, like that. This would be now like this. So it will be three, four over three over, sorry, four minus three over three. Right? And this will give now uh, one over one over three. Right? It's the fraction. We take this fraction minus, minus that other fraction. Right? Excellent. Put X here. I was going to do this okay, over three. Good. Sorted that, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay good. Now, uh, second rule, let me take the exponential uh, and, log and natural logarithm uh, function. Uh, the function Y equals, so my key is so small now. Y equals the function e power x. Do you remember the meaning of the number e? The number e, e what is e here? What is the number e? e equals 2, two, two comma 7. I want 2 comma 718 you can find many values uh like also is a limited number i mean it's uh, the number of the decimals is unlimited right but this is it's approximate approximate value 2.718 and so on right uh the number e you have seen it uh somewhere i'm sure is a very important number in mathematics and in its applications. Well, now this is the function e power x, right? E power x. Now, uh, this function, this when we take, how do we define again this number e? Uh, remember the log, the logarithm l l n. L n of e is given by one. See the number for which in the in base e, the logarithm of in the number e is value. I mean, is equal to one. Can you uh, can you find me the other values for e for uh, from your calculator? Well, maybe that would be enough. Now uh, let's consider then this function, the function e power x. But so the derivative of this function is the following: the derivative of y. Okay, it's too small. Wait for me, please. I repeat the function E equal E expo exponent to y, X rather E power X. Now, this function is very important. It is that it's the derivative 
is equal to the same function. Same thing. Isn't it, for, isn't it important, right? This derivative is equal to itself. Right. The number E, I repeat again, its value is 2.718. It has too many decimals as well. It's like pi, right? You can't have any structure for the decimals. Great. Now, um, what can we, uh, what else can we do for this uh, function for now? We have also the following uh, formula in general. If we have e power a function u of x, if u is a function, uh, yes, I can just give you this uh, formula. Assume maybe f instead of u, let me just use f. Are you still there, please? I hope you are not sleeping yet. I know some of you are from work, but please try to follow. If we have a pa e power f of x, what is this derivative now? How do we find this derivative of this? Uh, how do we find this derivative? Please, you do the following. You first take the derivative of the exponent, f prime of x. Are you there, please? I want to hear from you. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, we are, we, we are here, but we are just surprised. Yeah, <laughs> surprised by, okay, no problem. I will explain, please. I mean, all these formulas are not, I mean, they are, they are based on some theoretical uh, results. We can prove anything here. But the problem is the time that we have for the module and uh, and the proofs, you know, the, uh, the take time. I can prove one by, by, by one, all these formulas. The, what was important is not to prove, but is to understand how to apply them, right? So here, if you have this function, this exponent uh, e power f of x, the, the derivative will simply be the derivative of f. You take the derivative of the exponent and you multiply by the same function again. So it doesn't go away, it's still there. E power f of x. Will we use this? Maybe we'll use it somewhere, yes. You, you see how it, it appears? So you simply take the derivative of f and you repeat the same function again. Yes. You see here, what is here is exactly the, the same thing. E f of x is here again, e f of x. You simply multiply by the, the, the derivative of the function f. Let me take an example. Consider the function e power 3x. What is the derivative of this function? Who can find that, please? I, I think it will be 3e. Uh, e. Yes, 3. You oh, Sorry, you take the derivative of the exponent, right? Apply the formula, please. You take the, you take here 3x derivative of this quantity, right? And we simply multiply by the same, the same quantity, e power 3x, right? So see, this is the same thing there. So is this e an exponent now? No, it's still the base of the exponent. All right, the number e, two power some seven one eight some something. It it is next to three, three yes. x. Three x uh, uh, times. Right, is my is now a multiplication. Okay, what is this um, answer now? Equals. What is, what is the derivative of 3x? 3x prime, what is that? It's 3, please. Come on. 3. Right? Oh, this derivative is also called prime. Yes, prime. Yes, it's prime, basically. Yeah, it's prime, x prime. This uh, this this symbol here, this is y. You can say y prime. How, how you read it, right? You can read it y prime. But the meaning is that this is the, the derivative of y. 
right? You read it Y prime if you like, or sometimes you can read it also it as dy dy over dx, right? Over dx, same same thing. You can read Y prime, and you can say that it's the mean the derivative, right? Great. We have here now here. What's now the final answer? Three e power three x again, right? This is the the answer for for the question. Let me take another example to try to convince you. Um, compute this derivative. I'm on page 63. 63. The, the answer the, is three e to the power x. To the power 3x, e3x, you here. Right? Yes. This is the, the answer. 3e power 3x. Okay, thank you, sir. Great. Let me consider this function uh, 10, basic indeed, 10ex, e power x. Plus, sorry, plus uh, plus. I think it's uh, five. Five e power. Then put for example here four x. Ah, this mouse to pack with the mouse is always. Very hard to watch with the mouse. Four x, and I sure, I'm sure when I have my computer, you won't be. Maybe we'll be done with the module. Maybe okay. Right. How do you find here now the derivative of this function? Dy over dx. Who can find the derivative of the first of the first part? This is a sum of the function f plus g. We first take the derivative of the first one, and we take the derivative of the second part, right? Yes. What, what is the, the, the derivative of the first part? Uh, yes, anybody please, a prince? There must be ten, someone. Ten yes. x. Ten. Yes, ten. Here, ten is a constant. We take ten times e power x. Um, something like this. David, this. Right, and this will be plus, just go slowly. Here, how do we do this? Five, if we go slowly to don't lose anyone, times e for x. Right, can you see, please? We we'll take this derivative, right? Now, what do we then get? What is the, 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 what, what is the derivative of e power x? Same thing. Right. E power x plus. Now here, how do we find the derivative of e power four x? As teaching is about asking questions and receiving answers from the students. And if you see that they don't uh, answer or they don't understand, you repeat the question in another form until you are convinced that everybody is following. Well, that is how we learned to teach, um, right? Uh, is it five? Small question. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I think five. it's five. Yes. five. Um, mm -hmm. Open bracket. Yes. Three. Uh -uh. Four. Four. Right. Now we have, here we take four, the derivative. Four E. Four e. E power, E power something, E power F. How do we find this derivative in general? We take F prime, right? Multiply by E F, right? So here we have 4X, what is 4X the derivative? It's 4E to the power 4X. Oh, good, E, e power 4X. You see now, that's why it's very important when a teacher asks uh, uh, questions because they help you to discover where uh, the, where is the problem and bring 
uh, and bring uh, some remedy immediately. So here now we have, we have the final answer is will be 10, 10 e power x, right? Plus, plus 40, sorry, 20, maybe, maybe I'm tired. 40, where does 40 uh, come from here? 20 e power 4x, right? Good, you see that it, this is our derivative. Great. Let me now consider the function lean. How can uh, I so, yes, please. Sorry, sir. Yes, please, no problem. Yeah, here, here, why don't we subtract that four and say four minus one, but we put it as it is. Yes, this is a form, yes, good. You see? What you, I, I, I here, here uh, two things here, two, two things. We have the function x power and uh, x power a number, like 10, to, uh, 20, let me even take 100. But whatever, whatever it is, it's a number up there, right? Here I have the function y equal, if I have to compute this the derivative here, right? Uh, thank you for the question. Or any question we will, will always help to clarify the matter, right? Right. Now here, if I have to compute this the derivative, right? Here we have the power rule, right? This is equal to 100, right? Multiply by x power. 99. Yes, very good, 99. Big number, eh? 99, great. That, that's the final. Now, look at now here, the difference. Let me change the, the color to show you that the, the, the mat here is a new a new issue here. We have the function, for instance, if I take, for instance, three power x, three to the power of x. Here, I don't apply, here, I don't have the form this is not the same thing as x power something. See, the, the, form, the, the formula we have is x power, x power n. This is what gives uh, uh, n x power, right, n minus 1. If I have now here 3 power x or like n power, n power x. So, so here the variable is on top. This I can't do anything here. I don't know how to apply. This, 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 this formula here cannot apply to this uh, quantity. Right. So here now, I pin out what I have. That's why I, I, I started with e power x. Here we can, basically the question you are, you are asking me that, is why, why don't we apply here the power rule? I say, because it is not applicable here. Right? The power rule, has the form x, the variable is is down, and you take the power, I mean, any number, like 10, like 4, any number there, right? But if we reverse and we put, for instance, 4 power x, how do you find this the derivative here? You don't, don't apply, here, don't apply the power rule here, right? The, the power rule is only here. Power rule. Same thing here also. Here you can't apply the power rule. Right? Now you are you are now you are asking the, the question why I didn't take here. I have now e power 4x. Of course, e power x. What is the what again is the answer here? What is the answer? Anybody, please? To the Same power of x. Same thing, e power x, right? Uh, this is not the power rule, great. Now, if we have e power 4x, oh, sorry. To type with this mouse, it's, it's telling you a problem. Uh, my computer, where I have a new one, I've been with it for two months, still not yeah, ready to be up. Great, sorry for... Uh, Here now we have, in fact, e 
power 4x. How do we now compute this derivative? We apply the formula. We have a new formula for, 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 for this, not the, the power rule, right? What is the answer there, please? We take 4x the derivative, you see the rule, the formula, right? Multiply by e power 4x itself. That is what we have here. And the final answer is 4 e power 4x, right? Now, now I, I again I have that yes. question. Yes. Here is e to the power four x. Yes. And on top is e to the power x. Yes. Why why don't we say x multiplied by e and it gives us x e? No, good. Here I could have said here x prime. Good. Good, good question. X prime times this one. And, and what is that? I, I was following your questions, yeah, right? And what is now, please continue. I wish I could, I could see your name. Please continue now, please. What do you get? What is the X prime here? What is the- I was, I, I was saying, why don't we say is uh, X E? Yes, exactly. No, it's not. Look, look here down. Even then, we, we took 4x. Can you see my mouse? 4x comes down with derivative. So here, we also take this x down, but we take also derivative. And, and, and let's say you are you are right, because here, x prime is what? What is what is the, the what, what is now here, x prime? Is 1, right? And okay. 1 multiplied by e power x is exactly e power x, right? Okay, so the other question. No, no, first of all, I do you agree? Do you see how this, this now is the same thing? So, yes, do you agree? yes, 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 so yes e power x, so I, I now repeat, e power x, this function here, e power x derivative is, is exactly equals to e power x, right? And in general, if we have any formula, I mean, any function f, e power f of x, we can simply take this as, simply take f prime, right? Multiply by e power f. These two are true. Yes, now, what's now you, the next question? Yes, sir. Yes. And so it means when there is a, this e, yes, I shouldn't uh, subtract as we were doing yes, on that. Yes, yes, on yes, the sure. Exactly. When you have a function, because I'm, I'm, I know uh, you must always, before you apply a formula, uh, uh, before you apply any formula, you must first make sure that you have the right, you have the right uh, uh, function. I mean, you, you you must first make sure that your formula applies to the particular function that you are uh, that you try to uh, you, you are to, trying to compute the derivative, right? Make sure that the formula. I mean, when, when you say power rule, you must always see when, when I give you a function, simply a uh, something like find the the the, the, the derivative of uh, four uh, x power seven. Right. Of course, you will think of the power rule here because you can see this is the form of the power rule. But if I ask you to, to find the, the, the derivative of, say, for instance, which function can I take this to integrate you? Maybe I say, let me take cosine of, sorry, if you don't know what does it mean, but just to make a point, cos x. Of course, you can't say, okay, let me apply uh, the power rule. No. You, but does this does this function have the form of the of the power rule? Of course, no, right? So it's important that you see which function I have, which, which function I have here and which rule applies in this case, right? For now on, if I have to summarize, we have already seen two different rules to compute the derivative, right? Let me summarize here. 
as a, a teacher. Uh, let me summarize this way. Up to so up to now, we have already seen two only two uh, two rules of 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 differentiation. One is the power rule, right? We'll see many others. Power rule. Here we have the form. Form. What is the form of the function that we need to use when we can use the power rule? It's simply x power x power a constant x power something x power n n is a number here, right? Here we can use the power rule to 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 obtain. You, you, you know what to obtain there. Uh, second power second rule that, that we've seen so far is is simply this exponential. How do we uh, find the, the derivative of an exponential function of all of the exponential function exponential right exponential this is now the function e power x or in general or in general in general e power another function right of x Right, here you here you don't apply the power rule. You apply another formula that I have I have explained to you uh, just now. Great. Now the chain rule. I'll skip the chain. Maybe lean logarithm. Are you still following? Please. I hope you are not sleeping. We'll we'll finish. We will stop at half past seven. Uh, we can continue. We still have another uh, uh, 20, 20 minutes. No, no need to take a break. Or do or, or, or do you want a five minutes break? Let's continue, sir. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. Yes, could continue or yes, break? Please. Continue. Let's continue, no, no, continue. sir. We and continue, sir. Thank you so much. Now, uh, the function uh, logarithm is just the, uh, like, like the inverse function of exponential. The function logarithm, uh, uh, lean, lean of x. Is another special, another maybe I can take this as the third, even the third uh, rule for dif, uh, for the differentiation. Lean of x. Probably you uh, you have seen this somewhere, maybe in chapter two or, or three uh, somewhere. Logarithm. Lean of x. What does this mean? Uh, I repeat, I repeat that the number e, the number e. Its value is not exact, but it's uh you can approximate it by is 2.7, Other values are there. You can find them. You can you can Google and find as many as you as many decimals as you want. Right? E power something there. A very important number in application. Now, I said that lean. When we talk about a logarithm of a number, log, log of a number, say for instance, what is the logarithm of 100? In, in, uh, if we take 10, 10 as the basis, who can give me this, this answer? Please? Who can you give me this uh, number, please? What is, is the logarithm ten. of? Is? Is 10. Sorry, I can't hear you. It's not. It's 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 like two, yeah, two. This is like, yes, so, yes. Two. Yeah, two, yes. It, it logarithm of is two. And why it is, why is it is two? Why? Because, because, uh, because 10 power two, 10 power two equals 100, right? Because if you take if you take ten power two, this gives you hundred. Right? This is how we would define the logarithm in base ten. Another number. What is logarithm? If I take logarithm of eight in a base base two, what is this? Log eight. If we take the base as two, what is that number, please? Basically, basically we are we are asking 
Yes. Is which power can we elevate two to obtain eight? Simply like that. What is the answer? Three. Four. Three. Three. Zero point nine. Please, please, please. Is please, please, power? Is not multiplication. Is power because two power three, right? Equals eight. Right. Which number its power two gives you eight? If two times two times two is eight, right? Now, when we in 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 general, when we write the logarithm, if we don't put any number there, if I put log, only log like this, log ten. What is this number? Or log thousand? Okay. I think if nothing is put here. You assume that it's 10. Right? If no number is if, if no number is given as the basis, you know that it's 10. What is a log thousand? Three. 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 Yes. Three. Yes. Why? Because this number here, 10. 10 power three. Which is 10 power 10 power 10. It is equals to 1000. Right. This is 10 times 10. Again, times 10. Right. Great. What is logarithm of, if I continue, if I put something like this, if I take uh, 0 0.1, hang, 0 0.1. What is this number, please? Log of 0 0.1. What is that? What? Minus 1. Minus 1, yes. The basis here is 10, right? This is negative 1. Be why? Because this here, the base, what is the, the, the basis is 10, right? 10 power negative 1. This is equal to what? This is 1 over 10, right? And 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.1. This is the function logarithm in general. Now, now, lean log, logarithm, if the basis is this number E, is the number E here, the number e two point something log e log x this is now def defined as the denoted as lean lean natural logarithm lean right of x so this is a special notation so here we have a special notation for the logarithm when the basis is this number this magic number e Right. Are you with me, please? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. So if I have, if I write lean of what is e power two? Sorry, lean of of one. Lean of one. What is lean of one? By definition, this is simply equals to logarithm of one. Right when the basis is equal to the number e and and what is that which which number can we uh which uh, which power can we put e to to obtain one anyone is one is one mm -mm 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 -mm. one zero. power one see if if, if it, it is zero. one yes zero, zero yes zero. Zero, yes because it's zero. Very good. Because e power zero is here. E power this number one. Yeah, uh, gives you this one, right? Yes. E power zero equals one. Good. So the number here. So the uh, so the the answer is that lean of one equals equals zero, right? Good. If I ask, what is the lean 
derogative lien of say of E. What is this quantity? Lean of E, what is that? What is lean of E? It's one. Like one, yes. It's, it's like a, um, um, I'm I'm asking logarithm of E in the same basis E, right? What is that? Which number power? Yeah. Uh, which number can you take here, please? What is lean in base E? It's one, right? Right. Of course, e power e power one. Every number power one gives the same number, right? We see a yes or no. Who can find now in general? Now who, who can find look at lean of e power five? Remember, this is simply for logarithm. Please remember this. Logarithm. It will be, it will be log five mm -hmm. e. Yes, log five, which is, is simply five, right? Yes, log five e. I agree. Log 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 e five. E5 is the basis E. And what is the number? What's the number? Five. If, if it is five, right? Why five? Of course, because E power five, you see. E power five is equal to uh, E5, right? Great. Now, now we have the notion of the function uh, lean. Now, how then do we find? Now, how then do we compute the the derivative of this uh, function lean of x? Another uh, formula here, please, is the following: y prime is equal to very surprising one over x. Is isn't it surprising? Right. 1 over x. How you, how you take the derivative of the function lean, right? 1 over x. Great. Uh, I will, maybe for now, I will stop there. I can take maybe another few functions uh, after. So, so uh, lean is actually equal to 1 then. It so always has a function. L in the lin does it always have the function of one? Yes, no, yeah, sorry. This is the function of yes, lean of x. L oh, does it? Yes. Yeah, but does it always have the function of one? Uh in which sense? Uh, maybe I didn't get what you uh can you, okay. you took lin in the bracket x and then yes. you said y function equals to one over x. Oh yes, yes, the, the yes, the, the yes, the derivative, yes, you want one over x. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. If you take, you. if you want a, a, a more general one, let okay. me take this, this to extend it. Okay. Let me take lean of of the, let me take the function for instance in general f of x, right? Very nice. From uh, here, uh, let lean. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I'm getting. No, sorry. Okay. Yes. Great. How can we compute? Your, sorry. Please. This is important. How do we then here compute y prime here? Y prime equals. Yes, my boy. What's wrong? I'm nearly done. Give me a few minutes of it. I'm coming. Sorry, I'm talking to my son. Yeah. Okay, please, who can answer? This is, here you take the function f of x. Yeah, f prime of x, please, f prime of x. 
important for, uh, uh, formula. You divide by. Uh, sorry, that's. Uh, oh, this is beautiful. Divide by. Ah, sorry. Divide by f of x. It's clear. Can you please see what I'm? I don't know if you can see what I'm typing there. Can you see, please? Yes, that's fine, sir. Good. Very good. Look now the more general uh, uh, formula for lean. If you have a function f of x, lean of this function. How do you find the derivative of that uh, function? You first compute the, 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 the derivative of f and you divide by the function f itself. Let me take an example before we close. Example. So that can my mouse now. Is. Let me take the function. Uh, y equals y equals uh, lean of 4x plus 2. We can compute here the derivative of this quantity. Please uh, find for me here, please, the derivative of this uh, Find here y prime. Anybody? You see the form. First, you must identify the form of the question. Eh? You have to find the form of the function rather, and to know which formula you have to apply. Ali, how can you find that, please? You take the function for x. No one is, is talking. Plus two. Who is with, with me? Let me check the names. We are with you, but we are just lost to say. Oh, Justice, why are you lost here, Mr. Justice? <laughs> okay, let me repeat. We now have, we have here the function, right? Lean this logarithm of another function, right? So to compute the, the derivative of, of this uh, quantity, you take the, here the function, uh, you take this derivative here, justice, follow please, uh, prime, right? And you divide by, by what? By, by one? No, the same function here, look here. By 4x by by plus 2. Yes, yes, I'm here. Let me show you what I have, even if it's very big. <laughs> oh, Can yes. You see? Yeah. Yes, here, divide by yes. fx. Right. Okay. Excellent. And now, I hope you can see my board uh, clearly. Sorry if it's big, but great. We divide by the the same function now without derivative. It without a uh, computing again the, the derivative plus two. Right. Good. So that is it. What is, what is now the final answer? It's four over four x plus two. Excellent. Four over four x plus two. Well, that is it, yes. Four x plus two. No more ln, no more lean in the in the final answer, right? This is the derivative. This is the final answer. Right. Another another maybe to conclude, another example. Let me take the function y equals. Uh uh, before before you conclude, sir. Yes, please. Can you go back to that four over four? Yes. Can you go there? there? Yes, I'm here. I'm little there. Bit, little bit, little bit. Mm -hmm. Go go up a little bit. Yes, no problem. Why don't if we divide by four x plus two over four x plus two? Why yes. don't we say our answer is one? Uh -huh. Here, what's here on here? Here you have this here, this uh, prime here. This is the derivative. Did you see here? Do you see my mouse? This is the yeah. derivative. 
Yes. But down, there is no derivative. Right. We are saying this. We take F prime. F prime. Right. Divide by F. Then that lean, we just leave it. We, we, yes. we just Exactly. We, we, we leave it. That is the formula for the derivative. And this is based on a mathematical argument. It's not just something that, that just we take for fun. It's based on, remember in mathematics, everything is proven. We have to prove every formula. And this is based, that's how we compute this derivative. You simply take F, now do we understand that? We take here F prime, here we take simply F. That's why we, it can be one, right? On top we have the, the derivative, but down on the denominator we don't have, we take the function itself without the derivative. Right, clear? Yes, sir. Excellent. So let me now take the, the final example before we close. X power two. X power two. Who can compute here? Who can compute this derivative of this? Uh, who can compute y prime? Come on. Coco. It's not going to make two x over. Two x, yes. Two x over x squared. Yes, two x over x squared. Yeah, true. <laughs> right. Take the, 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 the derivative of x squared. Maybe mm -hmm. if I had to go, uh, let me go simply to show everybody. I don't want to lose anyone. It, it is the point in time when people are tired. X power two, right? And you take the, the, the derivative, right? So this is now. 2x divided by x squared. And what is the final answer? This is exactly 2 over x, right? 2 over x. If we want to like this. The, uh, another question to, to finish, please. Who can find this the derivative? e power x squared. x squared over 2. Okay, who can find this, please? Please uh, find the, the answer there before you go. Justice. I think it is uh, e, it is x squared. Very good, x squared. Uh -huh. x squared the derivative remember the, the formula right times e, e x squared yes x squared yes what is that what is the final answer 2x right 2x Multiply by e power x squared. Good, excellent. This is power two, please. Don't, don't, don't confuse here. It's power two. X power two. Ash. Type in x power two. We we are done. Uh, see you again next Monday. I uh, hope we'll we'll try to push again next Monday and see if we can uh, do the the applications of the yeah. If we are your oh. Yolanda, uh. Are you, are you in the class? Yes, I see your name there. Yolanda, I spoke to people from your department in economics, and uh, they said uh, I sent your email to them. They told me that they will follow. They will try to, to contact uh, other people in the station, and that they will probably you saw even the uh, the uh, the 
emails that I uh, I sent to them. I hope they will try to, to help you. Thank you so much, sir. I well, really um, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Well, well, I'll keep you updated on how it okay. goes. Thank you so much. That, that, that'd be okay. nice. All right. Thank Good you. evening. Please uh, see you then. Yeah. Thank you. See you then in the next week or Monday. Have a lovely night and uh, thank you, sir. See you. Thank, thank you. you, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.